Spegheads, and welcome to a you you battle this time around. I don't know why, but you you. But anyway, it's against Robotnik and Sexy, my man. Now I'm sorry if I feel, if I sound a bit uh, or if I snuff a lot. It's because I do have the snuffles. Is it like I've got a really broad nose? But that's the only thing because I was ill for a very long time uh, before I came back home for Easter, and I've still got a little bit of it, but. Not the horrible cough and the chest thing and the headaches. I've got just the nose thing. And, oh, well, it's okay. Basically, uh, it's fine. Anyway, so, I'm against his UU team. And I thought maybe I would be against the UU team. I wasn't too sure. That's why I have, like, me and Shaun Typhlosion. But I wanted to use them anyway. So I was like, it doesn't really matter. If he brings on a nice team, like a hell team, brilliant good if he doesn't fair enough but unfortunately that means that Gligar is not going to be very happy at all and I want to sack it at every opportunity if you see the random switch ins I don't predict anything with the Gligar just like fuck it I don't care anyway unfortunately uh turns out I didn't actually have the um background set but I promise that next battle we'll have a battle in the city because that was going to be the idea for this one we had a little bit of the sky last time but now we're going to have a whatever battle I have next in the city or on top of the city or on top of the roof anyway there goes the stuff all. anyway we're gonna, he's going to have the the uh, uh, breast hair thing what is it called Obama Snow, Obama Snow, yeah, that's it, Obama Snow breast thing, what the fuck. Anyway, so I'm going to bring on my Meloetta, which is my special defensive wall, because I was thinking that this, <coughs> well, I was, <coughs> that was irritating. I was thinking that this was going to be like Blizzard and like, you know, Giga Jane or something like that, as well as Leech Seed to Protect, so I, as you saw, I brought out my Gligar thinking, kill him! But no, he's actually going to bring out his Zatu, and he's actually going to set up the Flex, and I was like, right, okay, this is the Zatu I was thinking about. Because looking at his team, I, I, I'm i fairly certain that Mian Xiao and Main Electric and Typhlosion as well will be able to cause a lot of havoc to this team, but not if he's got, you know, the Zatu and the Nido King. Because the Zatu will be able to set up a screen, so my attacks won't do as much damage, especially to this Nido King. And I didn't want to like this Nido King can wreck me. I I, I can wreck it with some spells. Spells? I've been playing too much uh, Terror and League of Legends, but I can I can wreck it with some uh, attacks. But it can wreck me with attacks, so I have to get the edge against it, and I can't get the edge when he has the screens up. So I have to get rid of Zatu, and I have to get rid of Nido King, and I just just. In this point of the game, when I was playing, I was like, I cannot get momentum. I need to get momentum, and then I'll be able to do this little flash of Gordon. Flash Gordon attacks, basically. So, as you saw there, I got rid of Gligar. I was like, I wasn't predicting anything like an Earth Power or a Thunderbolt or anything. I was just like, you know, fuck it. I just want to get rid of this thing. <laughs> Listen to me for all I care. So, I'm going to set up my Fenton, which is my Suicune, which is the... Uh, event Suicune that gets the air slash like in generation 4 but I don't think you could rename it but I just renamed it anyway because that's what people do and anyway so thinking that this was going to, I'm locked into Ice Beam and he's got the light screen up and I thought you know what I'm just going to set up Meloetta thinking that this is going to be a special variant so I can take, easily take a Blizzard because it's special defensive wall but it's actually going to be a physical one max attack I think he says and uh, that would happen in a fucking ton but he is actually sure doesn't quite take me out going to be able to go for the hyper voice which is going to do a lot of damage and now he's going to have to protect just to scout out what I do he was, it, it would have been really cool if it was like a physical sort of me and shout because I would have gone for the high jump kick if I had it and then I would have taken like a butt ton of damage but no I am actually a mixed bit Pardon me. A mix me and shower with Aura Sphere, Stone Edge, uh, Hidden Power Ice, and U Turn, as you can see by the thing that I did. I want to try and bring that back, so I'm going to bring that back. So, anyway, anyway he's going to bring out his bananas. What is it called? Oh, I know why it's called bananas. I was wondering all the way through the battle. So, like, what the fuck? Why is he called a Walrein bananas? But it's because, you know, his teeth look like bananas. No, the tusks look. Teeth, tusks, whatever. They look like bananas. So. He's actually going to live the Aura Sphere. I actually I did more damage than I thought I would to the um, uh, the Warrain. So predicting him to go for the Protect, I'm going to go get a hopefully free switch into Darius the Typhlosion. Well, he's actually going to double switch into Pocahontas, probably predicting another Aura Sphere. Now, this is where 
uh, this is where I'm beginning to gain momentum because I'm going to be able to take out the Zartu before it can set up any screens with my Darius Wild Charge. It's a uh, the set thing will show up and it's basically max attack and it's banded, but not that sort of banded. It's a muscle band. Now at the time I was like. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. I hope I'm faster than this Diddy King. I hope this isn't Scarf. And it turns out I am faster, which is like, yes. Now, at the time, he was like, oh, he's bluffed the choice band. I was like, no. No, well, I do have a band, but I don't... I, I was, that wasn't the plan to bluff the choice band, although that's kind of like a secondary thing I was thinking about, maybe. But I was actually hoping that I would be faster, so I'd be able to get the Earthquake off. And this, them two threats are out of the way. So now I'm thinking, right, I've got my momentum now. Them two... People that would really annoy me out of the way. Now, Main Electric, well, unfortunately, Tough Legend has gone down, but Main Electric and um, Mian Xiao, they are either super effective or really good against the Pokemon that he's got left. Unfortunately, Main Electric doesn't get the kill onto Hitmontop. I think the Hitmontop lived with 10 HP on his side. Well, he has, he's already uploaded his side, so please I'll check that out, as well as Robotnik is sexy after the battle. And yeah, so now it's a two versus two situation. And I'm thinking, right, I have. The, during the battle, I was like, this is, I've got a sneaky suspicion that this Glaceon is Choice Scarf. So, I'm going to switch out into Phantom. And this is like, yeah, right, I can live that easily. But, oh my god, he gets the freeze. And that ruined me. Now, it, that Blizzard does a lot. Mainly because max special attack, Glaceon, with a really powerful stab move. It's very powerful. It's got like, the same base, base special attack as Espeon. And that's really high. Base 130. And... Uh, my Suicune isn't a um, special effect, it's not a wall at all, it's a spec Suicune. And yeah, he gets the freeze, and that really does fuck me over because I was going to go for the uh, Hydro Pump, I believe. And that would have, mm, I think because specs, I would have been able to take that out. And then he would have bring in one rain, and I would have just gone for Hydro Pump since he stole me out, or switched into Whiskers, and then would have gone for the Oresphere, and that would have been able to kill him off, and that would have been a good game for me. But. Unfortunately, he is going to get the freeze, and that really could So it's been, been a bit of a roller coaster game, and I really enjoyed it. I think it's a good game, 1 0. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and also to check out Robotnik's sexy side, as well as his channel in general. You will not be disappointed because he is a sound fucker indeed. So I'm going to say it again because I always say it. Thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. I'll be back for another battle, hopefully later.